Hey guys, good morning. Uh, here I am talking about <laughs> exercises one and two for day 30. Here I am. Uh, <laughs> warm up today is going to be three rounds, 10 sit ups, pike push ups, 10 mountain climbers, 10 pulsing air squats, and 75 toe taps. You move through that three times, guys. Before working on a five round wad of 10 pike um, or floor around the world. Um, 20 air squats and a 25 foot crab walk. Okay, so um, we're gonna go for the warm up first. This the sit ups. Um, we're familiar with those guys. We did a few yesterday. We're going to the ground, coming back up. A pike push up <laughs> it is feet up high, butt high, lower yourself down, and press yourself up. Okay, the uh, mountain climbers. Coming in here, marching those knees through your, your arms, trying to hold yourself in a straight arm plank. Pulsing air squats, it's kind of a half squat, full squat, okay? Uh, and then 10 toe, 20, 75 toe taps, grab a weight, and just kind of moving quick with the feet, okay? When we get to the five rounder, uh, pike or floor around the world, we basically get into the pike push up position again. And as you're up here, you're trying to get into a place where you feel a little bit inverted and you can actually put something on the ground like this and just kind of work your way around. You can go side to side or you can go all the way around. Yeah, I prefer to go kind of 180 because going 360 makes me a little dizzy. So uh, as I'm inverted, I feel better going 180. So why don't you guys you can try either way, whatever makes sense for you. But two 180s equals one lap all the way around means one, one, uh, one lap as well. So we're doing 10 of those. 20 air squats, lower yourself down, and then crab walk. Um, you can, you do not have to have hips as high as knees and, and shoulders, but you want to get to a place where you get a little stretch on uh, the front of the shoulders and chest, and you're walking backwards. Walking forwards, both work. The second home exercise <clears throat> is three rounds. Four stations each of the three rounds. Minute and a half per station. 30 second rest between stations, no rest between rounds. So 30 second um, overhead plate hold. If you don't have a plate at home, you can absolutely use a dumbbell. So, excuse me. If you happen to have a plate, hold it up in the air like that. You don't have one, grab a dumbbell, challenge yourself. I think ideally we'd use 25 plus pounds. If you don't have that, do what you can, okay? You're right, Liz? Oh, yeah, I just covered the camera by oh. <laughs> um, Wall sit is station two. Oh, sorry. And then a minute of um, max plate jumps. Sorry, so you're going, if you don't have a plate again, you can just kind of imagine it's there and kind of jump it on and off, on and off, okay? Wall sit. Find a wall you don't mind leaning up against. Try to get hips below uh, your knees, 90 degrees, and um, hold that for 30 seconds, followed by plate overhead lunges. So, going like this. Again, if you don't have a plate, you can use a dumbbell. Hold that strip over your head like this, and then do the little walking lunges. <clears throat> you got plate um, or dumbbell gun hold. Again, pick a weight that's kind of challenging, and you just hold it like this for 30 seconds. Um, the heavier the weight, the more this kind of actually feels like something. But a good way to kind of really challenge yourself is find your glutes, find your abs, and keep a stiff trunk while you're doing it. Follow that again by doing some plate hops, whether it's just jumping on the ground or an actual plate. Station four is hollow holds and weighted sit-ups. So hollow hold, go in here like this. We had sit ups on your chest, coming up and down. All right, guys, enjoy. I'll see you next time. All right.